okay I just put in my SD card into the system and I want to go ahead and make it backup copy but before I do that let's look at the property of this this system and it's 64 gig so you pretty much use up a lot of space only have 3.12 gig and it's format to fat 32 as you can see right here so if we put it in a bigger SD card we still we need to format to fat 32 <clears throat> and let's look at the retro in the RK you have IGS uh, game you also have demon front so you have all this cool game here, 26 game. That's pretty cool. And using Final Burnout 2012 here. And some May 23. <clears throat> There's nothing there inside the folder. Okay. But uh, the program is here. The program that make this uh, game run is over here. So we might test that out. But first, let's go ahead and back up the data uh, before I do anything. So I'm going to, oop, not just the ROM itself, but the whole thing. So this is the original 64 gig. Uh, I don't think you have any special partition on it. Okay, so I'm going to copy it and put it onto my hard drive. Uh, I call this wrong. It's actually misspelled. It. It's me Milo Mini Plus. Okay, and I'm gonna create a new folder called 64 64 gig of Milo mini plus backup okay so I'm going to transfer all my file over here <clears throat> now I don't know do I need to have a separate SD card or can I just drop the framework in there into the SD card so okay we're gonna download the latest firmware uh, and so right there but if you was the first time you put this in here uh, you're gonna get an error because of security privacy because this is not a see well it let me in but the first time when I had that error you need to say uh, advance and say yes but uh, don't worry about it. I will provide that link for you in the download so you don't have to. But it's always a good idea to go to this main site. So now we as we see uh, the latest version, which is for the Mini Plus, is June 28. For <clears throat> uh, my this one, the older version, the Mini, is June 12. So you have to pick which one you want. So when you download it, you click download, and it's going to take you to this site. So you could also use this site. Uh, well, I don't think you do. You, if I copy this, it still won't work. But anyway, you just download it, and the firmware you want is this one. You still say zero fifty four for some reason even though the date I don't know maybe there's some different patches so once you finish download it's going to show you the directory you just open up the directory and unzip it I normally use 7 zip uh, it's going to extract here <clears throat> and you're going to do is you're going to copy this file into your SD card and a lot of people just format a blank SD card, but the instruction did not say use a blank SD card. It says just copy the image file to the root directory of the SD card 
keep the machine shut down and plug into the SD card. Make sure, make sure it's turned off and put the SD card back in. And then put a charging cable in there just in case the power uh, go dead while you're updating. And then <clears throat> the walker will appear, appear representing uh, charging the panel will update. And then after you finish updating, go ahead and delete the, the image. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And those are the Chinese, uh, I guess, the Chinese version of it. So I feel comfortable just go ahead and take the SD card and put it into the original SD card right here. And then just paste it. And then we're going to do the update. <clears throat> okay, so still copying file to, to my computer because I'm backing it up. So let it finish and then we could check it out. Okay, I just realized that I forgot to format my my new SD card to a 500 to a to a FAT32. So all this stuff that I put in here is useless. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and redo it. So I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm just gonna pop this one out and put a one terabyte instead. Because uh, I think I have a lot of file. I don't think. I don't think 512 is going to cover it. I'm going to take the 512 out, put a 1 terabyte in here, and stop. Because if a PlayStation work and also Nintendo DS and uh, PC CD, that's going to take up a lot of space. And I don't think 512 will take it. One thing good about uh, my, my, old, my old media is it allow you to compress the file as a zip file so that will reduce the size a little bit okay where's my sd card okay i have three different software i got this one this one this one i normally like to use this so I'm going to format the, the one terabyte <clears throat> and I'm going to look for okay, one terabyte EX. So I want to format this, I want to label this as onion. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick format. Pop it out again. Reject and put it back in. Nope, it did not take it. Okay. The problem with the that program is anytime if something else is open, uh it doesn't like it. So you have to close all your program. There go now it work because you have to you cannot have the file open because it's very picky so now this is format with fat 32 <clears throat> it is okay now to to start with it all right so we're going to open up the browser so we're going to have e drive and we're gonna have this other one as well. So we could copy file to file. 
So here's the onion photo. And let's check it again. Make sure it's fat 32. Yep, fat 32. So we are now going to try to install customer firmware. So the first thing you have to do is to what we did was already back up our system. So we are going to go to the software here. And this is the backup of the 64 gig. So we already have software already on it. So we are going to I'm going to go ahead and take the software and transfer over. And once the, once the software is transferred over, it will include emulator, image, and all that other stuff. And then we're going to copy uh, the my Milo this spell M I Y O O plus <clears throat> which have the onion right here and we'll really unzip it so we're gonna take all that copy that and move it over there. Anyway, let's do this. Let's let's copy the ROM everything later. Let's just let's just close this. Let's just do this. Let's make this a fresh. Fresh install. With the onion. And then we're going to install the emulator. So we are going to delete all the emulator. And then we're just going to copy this and let it boot up. Okay, we're going to delete that emulator folder. So we got brand new uh so we got brand new S gonna copy the onion that we unzip that we download and the one we download is from here the uh let's spell this again Milo you know MIDI okay and one we download was up here the onion so if you was to go to the onion photo this is what it looked like And then you want to download the, the this one 4.23 the latest one it's kind of three weeks old but it is the latest one and once you download it then you unzip it and then just copy it to your fat32 the root directory all right so we're going to take this and put it on to the milo mini plus and then see uh it's going to probably going to uh update other stuff so let's go ahead and do that <clears throat> 